the internet suggested this is gonna be easier than it was. Someone's pride and joy in 1988. With some very big spiders in here. Welcome back to the Sentimental Car Club, where today we're getting started on our project car, the Ford Escort Mark IV. So the idea with the project car, with the Escort, is we want to try and start it up, see if it works. We need to take things in a certain order in order to do that. So we don't just want to try and fire it up. There's a few things wrong with it. First of all, being that the bonnet isn't opening. So we've got to try and open the bonnet. To do that, the tires are flat. So we need to pump the tires up, then we can get a jack under it. Then we can get under it. Then we can try and open the bonnet. Um, from there, we're going to pop some penetrating oil down the spark plug bores. Uh, and hopefully that will free the engine off, enable us to maybe move it by hand next time we're here. So we're just doing a little bit today. First job is to get those tyres inflated. So George is using a compressor plugged into his car. These are all the items from the boot of the car, all things that we were storing in there. I do think, unfortunately, there are some rodents in there as well. So, yeah. We're actually going to um, inflate after all this time. They have before. All of them? Yeah. Oh. They don't stay up, but they have inflated. It's going to take a while. I don't know if this little, this little pump has got enough life in it. Okay. First tyre inflated, a success. Should we move around. <laughs> to the next. Oh, there's air in this one. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Still looks pretty flat. Six and a half PSI. With the laborious task of inflating the two front tyres using a compressor now complete, it's time for me to take a well-earned rest while Kirsty jacks up the car. I don't think this is going to fit. No, there's no way in hell it's going to fit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's, your one's got this extension bit because it's such a high up car. You have to try the other one then. You're putting stands yeah. under it, aren't you? Yeah. Um, I'd get that cap off as well, off that plastic. That obviously is something, isn't it? Off that body kit. That's why I brought you a screwdriver. Or can you see a jack point already? Where's the screwdriver there? I feel like I'm just damaging this. to invest in a trolley jack don't yeah we? the car's been jacked up so my next job is to open the bonnet because last time when we were introducing the car we found out that actually we couldn't open the bonnet anymore so something's gone wrong so we've looked online and we think that by reaching up underneath you can just kind of unlatch it with the wire so as the one with the little arms and little hands i'm going to be sent underneath the car to try and unlatch it so i don't really have a plan <laughs> as such. I'm just going to go under and see because I think you can sort of see up and see where the latch and see where the cable goes and just have a fiddle around and hope for the best like like we are for most of this. So yeah, let's give it a go. The internet suggested this is going to be easier than it was. Yeah? I can see like a little latch. There. <laughs> Just gonna try to do that one more time. Here's a bar in case that isn't man enough. And here's your screwdriver. Right. So, I didn't think it'd be that easy. No, I didn't think it'd be that easy, but I was like, if I don't try it. Now the problem is I don't know where the wire goes. And it's not. Oh, 
Oh, hello. There is a massive spider's web with some very big spiders in here. Oh. Wow. Where are you looking up here? So first of all, I looked straight up here and that's when I could see that popping bit. And then I've been looking behind to see if I could see if the cable goes behind. Oh man, how are you supposed to get, reach your fucking hand up? And it's yeah, that's what I'm saying, exactly. There's nowhere for my hand to go. Where is it? It's about here. I mean, fuck me, if that was to undo, these would be the easiest cars in the world to get under the fucking Well, that's bonnet, what I'm thinking, they? but what does it... What... Uh, Look at the engine bay picture again. It's basically where the fan is, and the fan is right in the way. And I don't really want to be blindly putting my hand up there either. Um, I'm at a loss of what we can do. Yeah, it's a case of trying to just feel your way around, I think. So I've just been fiddling around with this bit of cable while George is underneath. And George, pull the uh, cable from the inside. So he's tracked it down to the other end. And you say you think it snapped, that end? Well, it just feels like it's come loose. So can you track it down to the, the other end of that cable to unlatch it then? I've just, I found something and I put my hand on it and pulled it across. So let's go and have a look. And I think it's popped the bonnet. Yeah, that looked a little bit open. You just need to get to the latch, I guess. Yes. We're in. You see this lives in here, in that. So, that needs to pull from there. So if I go into the car now, let's see if that works. Yeah, that pulled. Yes. So the good news is we do not need a new bonnet release cable. Yay. 25 quid saved. But you know what the other good news is? What? We could show everyone under the bonnet now and the engine. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, so here we are. This is the 1.6 injection CVH engine by Ford. Yeah, she's a rusty beauty. I think I'm hoping this is from where it's been stood, and I'm hoping that this is salvageable. We can get hold of these, but do we have no water in it? Is there? So the next part of the process uh, after the revealing this car was that we were going to try to hand crank this engine and check that it turns over but what I'm going to do now that I've got the bonnet open is take the spark plugs out and I'm going to put a little bit of penetrating oil down those bores and we're going to give it a day or two just to really sit in there and hopefully that will lubricate and loosen anything that needs loosening because uh, we don't want a cold start an engine and we could do damage by trying to do that if it hasn't because it hasn't been started for possibly 15 years this engine we've definitely had it for nearly a year now and we haven't done anything with it so we know it stood for at least that long in, in my limited understanding of motor vehicles you need to know if this engine is seized or not and the way to do that is to manually turn the engine over so you put a as far as i know you put a spanner or a wrench on the on the crank the end of the crank on the nut and you can turn it by hand and that should make the valves move up and down in here and then we'll know if it's moving or not if we can't move it we may have a seized engine and that means it probably isn't salvageable this one we'd be looking at a whole new engine we're going to see if we can get these spot plugs out now i don't know if this is the right size let's see Oh, that came off real easy. Oh, that one's better. There we go. Three, four. Let's do 
what sort of state these are in. I'm going to suggest we need a new set of HT leads. I mean, they're champion. I mean, practically brand new, aren't they? <laughs> when did these go in? Possibly 2005 or something? <laughs> this was someone's pride and joy in 1988, this car. Yeah. Okay, so spark plugs are out. I can see, kind of see down the boreholes. We're gonna give it a good old spray of penetrating oil. No, uh, no advertising here, if you know where I got this from. Um, first time I've ever done this, so I'm just gonna give it a go. See what happens. Oh, it's cumbersome, this is. It's a longer straw. that's enough okay so I'm just gonna put the um, the spark plugs back in just to stop anything falling down those boreholes and how long are you gonna leave it for um, this really depends on the weather now if it rains for the next four or five days I'm not coming back I think we are done. We've got the bonnet open and we've got penetrating oil down the bores onto the pistons. Hopefully this works. Right, start clearing up. We achieved what we needed to achieve here for the first time ever. Look, let's not jinx it, you need to close it as well. Oh, it looks like I'm swearing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Every time I look more shit, it gets on me. What do I know about cars? That's the question. <laughs>